Laya of Pita. Shruti is the mother. Laya is the father of music. This is a popular saying that we often hear in Carnatic music circles. Teachers telling their students, parents telling their children, critics telling musicians. The exact origin of the saying is not known. The, the exact source of the saying is not known, but it is very, very popularly heard in Carnatic music. Now, what does it mean? Shruti is the mother here. And Shruti here means singing in tune, singing with pitch fidelity, fidelity to the pitch. That is, now if I sing. To sing in the right pitch. In the Tamil expression they say Shruti Shendha Padrada to merge with the Shruti to merge with the basic Adhara Shruti with the tam, tam, Tambura to merge with the Tambura and sing to get the pitches right it's not a little higher or lower it's very easy to 
go a little higher or lower and it requires a lot of concentration and practice to get the pitch right each time. The pitch perfection is, a, is an ideal and in any, any performance it is very rare that every pitch you get it absolutely right. So, but the attempt should be there that you try to sing with pitch perfection. That is the meaning of Shruti Mata. Laya of Pita here, Laya. Laya here means, Laya in general means tempo. It is the temporal discipline. Music is you have melody on the one hand, but music as, a, as an art form, it unfolds in time. And so there is also need of a temporal discipline, ordering it in time, giving it a, uh, an order, an organization in time. And that is what laya here means, is that on the one hand you need discipline of melody, melodic discipline, on the other hand you need temporal discipline. When these two come together, music is born. That is what this um, saying means. Now the point of talking about the saying is to introduce to you the concept of laya and eventually very shortly, Tara. We have in the past couple of weeks or so, we have spoken about Raga as the melodic principle underlying Carnatic music. Now we have to explore Tara, which is the temporal discipline underlying Carnatic music and Laya is a more fundamental concept than Tara. Now we will spend a few moments trying to understand what laya is. Laya, as I said, is translated as tempo, the, the cadence, the, the way, the, the speed with which things happen, that is laya. And laya is, is a part of many aspects of human experience, human activities, many human activities are informed by the principle of laya. Speaking for instance or walking or running and singing of course, dance, anything, many activities that unfold in time, the principle of laya underlies these activities. So there is a speed with which I am speaking right now. There is a tempo to my talk. There is a tempo in my uh, speech. When I'm speaking in a course like this, in this lecture, there's a certain speed. When I'm talking to my child, there will be a different tempo. When I'm angry, there will be a different tempo. When I'm sad, my talk will have a different tempo. Walking also, there are different tempos and this tempo itself, laya itself has a very strong communicative power. If somebody were to suddenly rattle off a few sentences, it could mean that that speed, the tempo itself will have a communicative uh, content to it. A change in tempo also will carry some communicative uh, weight. A person is walking and suddenly if he quickens her pace, if she quickens her pace then that does mean something. Just the tempo itself has a strong communicative power. In music, as much as melody is of course 
all important liar is equally important the aspect of tempo temporal organization is as much important as the the actual melodic aspect in most performing arts in all performing arts laya is a very very subtle it's a subtle and very critical feature critical aspect of that uh, performing art and laya carries with it the capacity to make an impact or not make it a lapse in laya would uh, not uh, create the kind of impact that one would aspire for in comedy for instance the elusive timing that we speak of all that is about laya how you maintain the tempo how you organize the elements of your performance in time so in music as i said this is um laya is the tempo the speed with which the music is organizes the internal speed that is very uh, critical and um, it's not necessary that there should be beats or there should be a certain rhythm it's not necessary for laya is there in music even when there is no song even when there are when there are no beats even in a in a uh, in something like alapana which is free flowing there is no nothing binding it in terms of uh, the temporal dimension even there there is a laya for instance for instance there is a laya in this there is a certain tempo with which the music is being created without beats without any any thing to actually give stresses this alapana has an internal laya there's a certain tempo to this alapana and you will definitely know there is something wrong if the laya is not observed it is an extremely subtle thing perhaps the most subtle aspect of music is laya 